The boss of a firm paid by taxpayers to humanely deport migrants has apologized over racist messages. Mighty CEO Phil Bentley admitted his outfit, let down the home office, after staff traded sick texts on WhatsApp. Mr. Bentley vowed to MPs he would cut out the cancer of racism. In a second letter he personally apologized to Home Secretary Priti Patel, target of one. The remorse came after the Sunday Mirror exposed a raft of racist exchanges by staff in Mighty's Care and Custody Division. It deports criminals, returns illegal migrants to their own country and runs detention centers. Offensive texts included gags about refugees swimming to the UK and a slur on slanty-eyed Chinese people. Alison Thulis, chair of the all-party parliamentary group on immigration, image, Richard Townsend photography. The Sunday Mirror front page last week. Mr. Bentley's 800-word letter was sent to Alison Thulis, chair of the all-party parliamentary group on immigration. Emma Ginn, director of campaign group Medical Justice, which works with the APPG, said, This is astonishing and unprecedented. In 15 years we've never seen a letter like this. It's quite extraordinary. We wonder if it is because these texts mention the Home Secretary. The Home Office ordered a probe and Mighty suspended a number of staff. What is happening where you live? Find out by adding your postcode. Most read. Russia-Ukraine war live. Street fighting in Kharkiv as Putin's troops storm key city. Kremlin website down as Russian TV channels hacked to broadcast Ukrainian songs. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle face £100,000 tax bill on their California mansion. Mr. Bentley said in his letter, I apologize to those who rely on us to treat them with dignity and respect. I have written to the Home Secretary to apologize and assure her no stone will be left unturned to cut out this cancer. APPG Chair Ms. Thulis, a Scottish National Party MP, has called for an independent review of all Home Office contractors. She said, it is unacceptable. I will meet mighty senior management to raise concerns face to face. Read more. Racist WhatsApp texts sent by immigration staff at firm paid by home office probed. Read more. Boris Johnson's Downing Street flat sleaze explained after Tories breach election law.